Hello everybody, welcome back to Sith on Bricks. Today we are building set number 75271 Luke's Land Speeder. This set has 236 pieces and originally retailed in 2020. <laughs> so I like I wasn't exactly sure which one this was because Lego also made one in 2018 and 2016. So I just wanted to double check very quickly before I told you. Uh, this slash this this set is based off of Luke's land speed. Are you seeing a new hope? One of the really I got it. Like, Really focus here. Okay. You gotta be very careful with this so then I so I don't mess up the box. Because we did get this at Kohl's and the box was already messed up. I'll show you a little bit of the box after I open it, but the box was really messed up, but, okay, this is not wanting to function correctly. Okay. Um, this is taking a while, so I'm just going to show you now. Um, I'm going to go to camera 2 very quickly. So, we got this from Kohl's. It was on retail for $19 because of the poor condition of the box. Um... As you can see, there's like a whole bunch of lines here, and just a whole bunch of cracks and dents in the front. Like, if I push it back, you can see how it's like rose up because it's like, it was crushed, and... Okay, I didn't even notice that right there, but there is like a little thing there, and... This set comes with three figures. Luke Skywalker, C-3PO, and a Jawa. The best thing about this new setup is the fact that I could show you the box in like, all its glory. Uh, here's the box. This box does take place on Tatooine. And there's a little easter egg. If you look up there, you see like Obi-Wan's hut over there. I just thought that was a cool little feature of oh, the camera is blocking the other part of the build. But to, I think to raise the price up a little bit, Lego added this little extra bit right here, where the little hidey hole that R2-D2 was in. I think other... Yeah, other Luke's lane speeders have, have had that before. Uh, if I ever get another Luke's Lane Speeder, maybe one of the older ones, I might compare it. Because this is one I cannot compare on stream right now. I just, I just gotta finger it. It's actually surprising how strong this box for boxes for how messed up. Um, so yeah, here you go. Here is the inside of the box. It comes with three separate bags. Bags two, bags three, and bag one. This set has two, four, six, eight, ten, ten different stickers. Um, this time, though, I was prepared. I brought my tool so then I could put on the stickers really well. Um, if you, if you, uh, if you have issues with your hands, like I do, and you can't, like, keep them still enough, um, this is really helpful because it grabs, like, the edge of the sticker and you could do it that way. And this set only comes with one instruction book. And this set is not retired, and you can't get it at Kohl's. It's normal retail price. It's around $25 if you get it from Kohl's. Uh, but 
Like I said, we got it for 15 because of the box. It's a little blurry, but... You know what, the box could be in the background, like, over here. Okay, here's bag one. Here's bag two. And here is bag three. This set contains no printed pieces. But it does have a lot of cool stickers for mocks. Like sticker number seven here. You can make like other land speedos using this piece or any other Star Wars ship or vehicle. Let's see here. There is There is 70 pages in this booklet. So let's open up bag number one and see what is in there. In here. Anyway. Okay, so something interesting about the Jawa here in the set. We, how I know that we actually got one of the older land speedos and that this has been on the shelf for a while, for a while is this Jawa. If you look at the Jawa, he does not have the updated hood piece. This is the original hood that Lego uses. The other figure this set, this bag, sorry, the other figure this bag comes with is C-3PO. Oh, okay. C-3PO. There's only one C-3PO that comes with arm and leg printing, so this one does not have it. But it does have the back printing and the eye printing and everything you would expect out of a normal C-3PO. All they need to do now is make like a, like a chrome to gold one with the arm and leg printing. I think that would look really cool. Let's see, I can't... Oh yeah, I could put it like right here. Yep. Yeah, so just a reminder, this is the 2021, not the 2018 or 2016 one. Yeah, it is a 2021. I'm saying that it's not the 2018 one or 2016 one. Um, so this actually has the... um. Lego.com price on here for $30. Um, I could only guess that's because of the issue Lego's been having with their factory, so they sent one from their factory to Kohl's, so that's the Kohl's pricing on it, but I don't think that's exactly... I don't think Lego is having an issue, it's just... So I actually need a um, custom mock of the Luke's Land Speedo. I'm not sure if it'll ever go on the website or if it was just... I guess it really just depends, but... Okay, so um... 
yeah, the Luke's Lane Speedo instructions, uh, they'll be, they'll be available next week. Oh yeah, I'm also going to be making, uh, due to high demand on Instagram, I'm going to be making Choppo's instructions. Um, I do have an Instagram in case for y'all, in case of you didn't know that. Uh, I do share a lot of my custom mocks and stuff on the, uh, just like update things about the channel and things like that. I mean, actually, yeah, I wouldn't call it exactly high demand. It's more of that I wanted people to build my chopper, to be honest. Yeah, people were asking for it, and I wanted, pe I wanted people to build my chopper. I can't tell if that's a missing piece, or if I'm just, just supposed to take the jaw to put it on there. I think I'm just supposed to take the jaw Well, there you go, there's the first chunk. Or to his little holy hides in. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm still adjusting the, ca the camera angles, but... The Lego set has it so then the Jawa goes in here, but in the actual movie, or two hides in this little hole here. Uh, I'll put it right over here next to the instructions for now. So in case if you're wondering, my version of Luke's Land Speedo is smaller than the Lego version. Lego's version, this one, is actually eight studs wide. Well, mine's only six because I thought that looked more like how it does in the movie. I didn't think it looked that big uh, I guess that's a good example why I thought this I'll go get the uh, 2021 type fight of it quickly actually no I'm gonna get the imperial shuttle here so if you look at this imperial shuttle this is six studs wide, here, in the body of the Imperial Shuttle, not including the actual wing part, is eight studs wide. Compared to a lot of the newer sets that lego has been coming out with, I didn't think that this exactly fit, so my custom one is more accurate to this one. Sure, it's still a little bit oversized to fit the figures, but it does fit this one more than it does the eight stud wide one. And I have the time to put a piece of grass on a thing. So, yeah, it's, that was bad one, right there. And it came with two extra pieces. I'm gonna set this down so you can see it better. But it came with this one piece. It's a see-through light blue. And then we got this piece.
which is a one by one slope. So we are now on bag number two. Oh yeah, um, I almost forgot. I did make another mark. I'm pretty sure this will be coming out the same time as... I'm pretty sure it will be coming out the same time as the uh, Luke's Lane Speeder. I made a, um, Imperial Troop Transporter and a, um, Mini Gunship. This isn't the exact version. This isn't what it exactly looks like. Um, for my digital designer, I had access to more pieces, but this is more of like a rough example of what it does look like. Um, the engines are still oversized because it is like a mini, like, microfido type thing. So basically, I guess to explain it, what I did is I took a microfighter and I made it bigger. Do I have a microfighter over there? Okay. okay, that was a bad example. That was actually still pretty good. This one, here we go. So I made something kind of like this snow speed on here and how the engines are oversized. That's kind of what I did with this. It's like a big microfighter. I don't think Lego would ever actually release something like that, but... I still think they're really cool. I need... So, yeah, the inspiration for my troop transport that I made was the um, Lego one that's coming out this year. Uh, I, I love the Mandalorian, and when I heard that Lego was making a troop transport, and how it was going to include, for the first time ever, a Lego mortar trooper, I got excited and I built my own. <laughs> uh, it was... Sorry. It was supposed to be something that I built in like a couple of minutes, but I kind of got carried away on making it look how it does in the show. Uh, not the exact one from the main lion, but like the show. Because there are several different versions of the Imperial Troop Transport, and I only made one of them. I probably will make some of the other versions, but at the time, I don't know. Okay, I need to take that off. Uh, yeah, sorry if you could hear the computer. The computer is being a little loud. If I could stop it, I would, but I don't think I can. Oh, they can't get it? Okay. No. Never mind, they didn't go on me. Everything's good.
with folded inside out. Interesting. I've also came across none of the stickers yet, and I'm I'm still on bed too. A little weird. I wonder if they're gonna have me add the stickers at the end. If so, I've never seen Lego do that before. This here. This here. Okay, so there's a little update on what I've built so far. So, so far, so good. So I'll move my hand out of the way in a second. I just need to flip the instruction booklet. So just a quick disclaimer though, if you are wanting to build my tree transport, you're going to need a lot of this piece. Um, that's basically the entire, like, structure for the wall. If you want to order all the parts on Bricklink, it said that it would cost me around $75, so. Now, if you want to build my custom, my custom Luke's land speeder, that's going to be $35 for the aftermarket pieces on um, Bricklink. Sorry, I had to think of the name for a second. Yeah. You can probably get it cheaper on Lego.com if they have the piece, but... Luke's Land Speeder isn't a normal color, I guess you could say. Lego doesn't really produce it normally. I am coming across the stickers now. I need to get my tool. And I need this right here. Okay, I'm going to attach this. So it says that it should be present this way. There we go. Maybe I need to do it the other way. Maybe that's what I need. There we go. Okay, so I got one of the pieces on there. Uh, I'm going to put this here. Oh. We're live on Instagram, okay? So if anybody from Instagram is joining, I'd like to welcome you to the stream. I am building set number 75271, Luke's Land Speed. I'll make sure to uh, make it so then everybody can see what I'm doing, and not only Twitch. Okay. So I got that done. Super so before I go on to the next step, 
I wanted to show you. Iron Alex 99. Welcome Iron Alex 99. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I keep forgetting that on camera's left is right, your right is left. Okay, I need to fix this very quickly. So that that sticker isn't exactly perfect because uh there was a little air bubble in it, but there's a little example of what using the um as Bricklink calls it human tool can help you. I'm not even joking, they actually call this the human tool. <laughs> like is Bricklink just a whole bunch of robots? Human. This is a human tool. <laughs> Humans. Humans would use this tool to separate bricks. You know, just just slightly weird the naming of that piece. The bottom of this though. And it's gonna really look like a Luke's land speed up in the bottom. <laughs> Yeah, on the digital designer I use, I was actually trying to find these clear pieces. Hello, Lego Spellbounds. How was your day? Hello, Lego Customizer. Sorry, Lego Customizer. <laughs> I am sorry that I butchered your name. Yeah, that is not passing. It simply won't let it. So I guess the one thing that I'm not that big of a fan of of this set that I wish they did is that I wish they made the colors correct. Um, on my mock, I have all the correct colors, but the Lego version, not all the colors are exactly how you see them in the movie. Uh, although it does seem like me and Lego had the same idea when it came to the engines. It's just that, um, I decided that I wanted to do the engines a little bit differently from Lego, so my mock engines aren't the same. And I think it looks good. Yuck. Okay, I need to... Make some space here so that I don't cause air bubbles. It's so much easier when it's not a rounded piece. Noise. Rounded pieces like the razor crest? Mm, that's mean. Like small stickers like this on round pieces, I'm not a big fan of. But I guess the razor cuts was actually okay. Um, all I know is that these Lego stickers are like a cactus. They like barely hover over it, and it like because of like kinetic energy or something. No, not kinetic energy, but. Like, even though I'm hovering over it, it wants to stick. Okay. 
little status update for everybody watching on Instagram and Twitch. Sorry, I almost said YouTube. Oh. Like I said, I hope we will be able to go back to that soon. Uh, just hang in there. If you want to know exactly what happened and why I can't be on YouTube, I do have a video on my channel, so. If you want to know and if you're curious, you can check the channel. And, the, and for those of you that are on Twitch or Instagram that are just watching the video because you saw it, I do have a YouTube channel, it's called Sip and Bricks, uh, it's a, it's a YouTube channel. And for those of you who got Twitch or Instagram to watch my live streams and you don't know why I'm no longer doing it on YouTube, you could go to, go to the channel and watch the video. Uh, so the next and last figure of this set is Luke Skywalker in a poncho. Uh, this is a very unique figure. Uh, the poncho doesn't like to stay even, but there we go. That's close. But they do have a poncho. Poncho Luke. One, once again, though. You can actually use this poncho for like a mock. Fun at the fair. I don't know. I'm just thinking of like ideas. Okay. So now. Okay, so it's the sand. The camera's left and the right's, they're confusing me. Uh, I'm trying to think of a good example to show that. Oh yeah, the Dark Vader. Um, I guess, yeah, Dark Vader, as Lego calls him. Darth Vader, Darth Vader, it's like a translation thing. But for some reason, they made him left-handed. Uh, he isn't actually left-handed. Can you watch? Can you see that on camera? No, you can't. That's weird. Anyways, so yeah, even though on camera it looks like he's right-handed, he's actually left-handed, so... I'm gonna... Put him away and do a little bit sh of shameless plugging in for my chopper. Um, like I said, there will be instructions for this guy on my website, www.sipandbricks.com. Yeah, he, he, I absolutely love how this guy turned out. Uh, and if you, if you've already been to it before, you would know that I also have an R2. In Choppa, he's literally the R2, except they change a couple of pieces, and that's why I made R2 so bland. So then it's so then it's easy for you to like mix and match and make droids. Okay. I have been talking too much. I am just very proud of my builds. Is anybody on Instagram going? Okay. Just want to make sure that I'm not missing anybody.
Did I skip a thing? Nope. Okay, it's just a lot of pieces. Is that right? I didn't think the steering wheel was on. I didn't think the steering wheel was on already, like a U UK car. Yes. Oh yeah, okay, that's right. Okay, so... <laughs> Yeah. I was trying to think to like the movie, not the actual Lego set. I was like, is that accurate to the movie? It is. It is. Took me a minute, but I got it. Here's a little fun fact for you. Did you know that Legos technically Lego technically is the um produces the most tires in a year? Sure they're not tires you put on a car, but they are technically tires. Ooh, there's some Technic now. Um, before I do the Technic, here's a little look of the Dorito-colored Luke Slane Speeder. A Frida? Yeah, it's like, um... Let me show you the box very quickly, but the box looks a little bit lighter than the actual build. I think that's just like the, um... Yeah, I think it's just the lighting, but because we do have a darker lighting in this room. My mock for the Luke Slane Speedo actually uses just normal tan. So. I'll put this here. Hmm. Okay. Um, can everybody on Instagram see well? Okay. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm doing this right. I need to put that there, and... Yeah, uh, sorry for the uh, noise. That's the garage. I can't really... Help that too much. Mm. I think I know why this is there. This needs to be pushed in all the way. Okay. 
I'm good. Here we go. I got it. Now I need to put number three. Need to go like this. Like that. And then the that needs to go there. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm sorry for the noise. Um it'll 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 go away soon. That goes there. That goes there. I need this here, this here. I need to make in the other engine now. Here's an interesting piece. This is like the um piece Lego would put string in. They're using that as like a busted up engine. That's actually very unique. Let's see, number four. I need to connect the engines like this. Okay. Uh, let's take that this there. And then we have this here and this here. And here's another update. Um, I now have the two small engines connected on the Fritos car. I'm gonna call it the Fritos Mobile now. So yeah. Fritos Mobile. Oh, okay. Stickers are over here. And here's a piece I did not know Lego like, made in this color. And don't worry, Instagram. Uh, Anybody who's watching on Instagram, I'll try to remember to show everyone. The thing. I think I am almost done with this now. Couple more steps left. And I'm wondering when these last two stickers are gonna come in play. That is a question that will be answered soon. That is all I know. Oh, okay, so it needs to be here and here. Ooh, 
I didn't see this. Here's another piece that I did not know Lego made in this color. It's like a shiny roller skate. Good God. Okay, now I'm dropping that. Okay. Uh, I put that on backwards. Okay, I don't need to put it right out of it. Sorry for the loud thing. I did not intend for it to be that loud. We've got a chair there that rhymed. And we're about to have a chair there. In three, two, one. Up. Okay. So. We have this. This. Okay. We need to put this here. We are now at number eight, New York. Okay, I need to stay. This and then using the last sticker here. to put the extra pieces over here and this and this and here you go you now have luke's land speeder luke c3po and the john law all fit inside this set and if i were to add or change two things about this set it would that it would be that I would make some of the colors correct and accurate to the movie, and I would add R2-D2 and Old Ben into the set. But before I sign off, there is one more thing I want to say, and that is that... Get prepared for this, because this is a big deal. So, on our, on our website, www.southernbricks.com, if you add backslash contest to the back of that, we do have a contest. And to enter, it's very simple. All you have to do is go to our YouTube channel subs and subscribe to our channel. And then you have to go to www.southernbrex.com backslash contest. Or you could just go to the normal web page and press the contest button. And then all you need to do is enter your email and your name. So, I'm going to do that so that you can see me better. So, email, name, and that's pretty much it. I mean, it's it's that simple. Um, and anybody who's on Twitch and Instagram and doesn't know about the channel, it is called Sith and Bricks, as I said before. Um, we do Lego reviews and Lego builds, and we have a lot of these live streams. Uh, 
But just so everyone knows, we're now going to be doing them here until we get the YouTube thing resolved. Uh, but yeah, this was set number 75271, Luke's Land Speed Up. I would, thank, I would like to thank everybody so much for watching. Good night.